Good afternoon. Good evening. What's up, everybody? It's Coach Dimitri here for one more WTF Live Wednesday. It's a pleasure to see y'all. And unfortunately, Coach Big E is on a trip. Uh, he's on the road right now taking care of some visionary high level stuff here at the WTF Academy. But fret not, my people, fret not. The show will continue to go on. Yes, it will. Um, however, I would like to, before I get started, want to go ahead and mention, go ahead and head on over to our YouTube page. That's at WTF Men's Academy. Just go ahead and type that in on YouTube. There's a few other WTF pages. So make sure you type this in just how you see it right here below. And right after this live stream, in the next 25 to 30 minutes or so, you will all be the first to see Storm Leroy. Yes, the employed millionaire, Storm Leroy. His interview, his podcast, excuse me, his podcast is airing tonight right after this live. So go ahead and head on over to our YouTube page. I'll leave this up uh, through the duration of our live stream today. And trust me, you do not want to miss it. Uh, Storm is currently overseas, uh, venturing off into different countries and looking at real estate in Thailand and uh, Africa and Asia and all these other different continents and countries. So we, we definitely want to highlight Storm before we get this live started today. And uh, go ahead and show him some love on Instagram and YouTube as well. All right. So for today, as you all may see, what's going on, everybody? What's up, everybody? I see y'all piling in. Thank y'all. So as far as today's topic, as you see, it's about unlocking crypto wealth. And today we're going to be talking about some secrets, some tips, and yes, we're going to be talking about some formulas to success when it comes to the cryptocurrency market. Now, many of you may not know, some of you may know, but I've been in crypto since 2017. And yes, I've made quite a bit of money and I have lost quite a bit of money uh, simply because I was ignorant and did not know what to do. Um, what to do. So that's why I'm here for you all today to give you all some insight on how to be successful in this upcoming cryptocurrency bull run. And if you all have not noticed, cryptocurrency has been on a tear, more specifically Bitcoin. All right. So we want to make sure that you all can take advantage of some of those profits and these life changing gains. Now, without further ado, I'm just going to go down this random list and just kind of talk about some stuff. So uh, only invest. Whew, this is a good one. This is the first one. Only invest what you can afford to lose. Hey, Chrissy, how you doing? What's up? What's up? Good seeing you. So only invest what you can afford to lose. Now, this applies to cryptocurrency. Absolutely. But this applies to all investing strategies across the board. I don't care if you're investing in uh, real estate. I don't care if you're investing in stocks, bonds, whatever, you know, especially trading. But uh, anything that you invest in, don't invest more than what you are comfortable completely going to zero. Because just like with anything, if you're looking for a reward, there has to be some type of risk involved and people think uh, you're going to make some money without taking on some type of risk that's absolutely false there is no risk-free return as far as i know um so that's why the old adage the old saying goes no risk no reward right you have to take on some type of risk but here at the wtf academy we promote taking calculated risk Every time I have a call with my mentees, you know, and, and they ask me, what do I think about this or what do I think about this business opportunity or this investment? I always have them go through some type of thought process that lets them weigh the pros and the cons. Like you have to take a calculated, thought out risk assessment with whatever. I don't care if it's a spouse. Right. Even when we're dating. We have to say, OK, is this person, does this person have A, B, C and D? And if they have flaws on this end, that's OK. They're not deal breakers. I can I can kind of deal with that. So even in relationships, there is that way of pros and cons and taking that calculated risk. 
right? So everything in life is risky. And like the great late Jim Rome said, life is so risky that you're not going to get out alive. All right. So make sure that you're taking calculated risk uh, in cryptocurrency, especially. Uh, and what does that look like? I'm sorry, I'm getting all off topic. Don't invest more than what you can afford to lose. Let me close that point out. Don't invest more than what you can afford to lose. OK, so what does that mean? Uh, you want to make sure that you are if you don't understand crypto a lot, which most people don't. But I'm here to also help visit WTFMA.com and hit our contact page if you have any questions about crypto. And uh, go ahead and leave me a comment here on during this live. If you have a question, I'll be more than happy to answer it. But um, once you once you go ahead and start to learn more about cryptocurrency, then you want to put in or invest money according to your knowledge base. Right. So therefore, as you begin to learn more, then you begin to invest more like you don't want to pour your hard earned money, hard earned money into an investment in cryptocurrency. And you don't understand at least what is supposed to do, what the value is supposed to be. Right. And I tell my people all the time, the number one way to really learn the most about any cryptocurrency is to read the white paper. All right. You can uh, read the white paper and that's essentially a specified document that gives you um, the nuts and bolts and the summary of what that crypto investment is. All right. So without boring you all too much into the details, make sure that you understand what you're investing in according to um, your comfort level and don't invest more than what you can afford to go to zero because it's crypto it's investing you just might lose it all but you just might make a whole lot as well okay um next also understand that there is no such thing as oh i learned this the hard way so if you're looking to stake cryptocurrency or earn passive income, understand that cryptocurrency is a get in and get out type of game. You can make a lot of money in a short period of time. And I have done that, fortunately. But I also made the mistake of trying to stay in it long term or keep my money, keep a large majority of my money invested into the market earning interest or earning income, right? The problem with that is, is that it's great when your investment is going up, right? But anybody who's experienced a bull market in cryptocurrency, those things go by quick, one year, 18 months max. And then after that, you see prices decline for the next two or three years. So the key, the point of cryptocurrency is to be able to make your money and then pull profits because you really don't win unless you take money off the table. Unless you take those profits off the table, that's when you really make your money. That's with anything, right? Those profits, I call them paper profits. If you see your account and you see the numbers going up, but the number is not, but that cash is not in your account or that cash is not in your hand, those are called unrealized gains. This isn't on my paper. I'm just kind of giving y'all some high level investing information. That's called unrealized gains. Why? Because you haven't realized that in the physical real world yet. Right. But when you actually hit that sell button and sell it for a particular price and that order gets filled and then you have the cash in your account or you have that cash in your pocket, then those gains are realized okay so always make sure that you don't fall in love with the numbers on your portfolio then the purpose of investing is to ultimately increase your bank account right so that's the point even in your 401k you know i i, I know there's penalties associated with that and that's one reason why i don't really like the 401k is because you don't have control over the money that you put in there and then you have to wait till you're 65 or whatever age that they say at that point in time to be able to take your money out. And then you still get taxed unless you got taxed beforehand. But either way, you, you still don't have full control over your funds. All right, cool. So also, like I mentioned earlier, but I'll go into more depth with it now. 
Don't follow influencers blindly. Understand that some have their own agenda by just, they call it shilling and uh, cryptocurrency language, shilling worthless projects. Yeah, this, this goes back to DYOR or do your own research. Um, and I'll kind of combine that also into this point. Doing your own research is pivotal. Um, I've been in the game long enough to have gotten scammed a couple of times. Um, I, I thought a meme coin was, you know, like Doge, like those meme coins, those dog coins. I thought that I thought I picked the pretty good one, right? Because I saw a person on Twitter posted how they called the bottom of Bitcoin back in 2013 and they made a hundred X and I was like, Hey, that's, that's pretty cool. Well, they must know something I don't know, you know? And then that kind of went back to my insecurities of what I wasn't sure about myself in so at that point in time i i had been in crypto quite a while but for whatever reason i wasn't secure i wasn't confident in the knowledge that i had gained i wasn't you know because I, I hadn't made the money that i thought i should make you know i you know my risk management wasn't where it was supposed to be so i lost big on some projects and i didn't get as much as i thought i had should have gotten in other projects so my confidence was a little shaky so when i went to uh social media and the key my my, my mind kind of goes everywhere y'all so just follow me so as, as i continue to do you know research one of the key uh social media sites and go ahead and jot this down for researching cryptocurrency is twitter i'm always say twitter i was around before twitter was twitter is now x.com, but I'm gonna just say Twitter, but y'all know it's X. So Twitter is one of the biggest like cryptocurrency social media websites to do research on crypto. The problem with that is, is that it's a lot of people who take advantage of those who are ignorant, right? It's a lot of people who have been in the cryptocurrency space and they know how to manipulate the post and put it through Photoshop and make it look like they or one way they'll they'll buy followers and they'll have 50,000 followers have you you think that they know what they're doing and they'll photoshop these posts making their account look like it's seven figures and you're like oh they must have the sauce so let me go ahead and follow them blindly let me go ahead and say, okay they're gonna post this particular project let me go ahead and, and invest everything into this because they must know what they're talking about the whole time they've created a scam coin and they're promoting it to you and you you put your hard-earned money into it and they end up they call it rug pooling once enough people invest into a particular scam coin the developers snatch the funds and you don't know where they are because cryptocurrency is pseudo anonymous or somewhat anonymous yeah okay i see you tracking chrissy good deal good deal love to hear sometimes i feel like i'm talking over people's heads but i'm i think i'm getting a little bit better at uh making this concept simple uh as possible so yeah so yeah just just don't don't fall into the trap of uh following people blindly i don't want to keep uh rambling but i want to go on to the next point because we're about halfway through this through this talk so learn ta and know when to buy or sell your coins. And uh, so TA, what is TA? TA stands for technical analysis. All right, technical analysis. So there's, as far as I know, there's two sides to researching uh, cryptocurrency or anything in general, but for this talk is cryptocurrency. Um, there's technical analysis and there's fundamental analysis so technical analysis is i'm not sure if y'all ever seen those like charts with the bar uh with the with the candlesticks red and green showing the prices go up and down up and down like the you know stock market shows um that's technical analysis that's the basis of ta right when you see those bars those japanese candlesticks and then you see those lines and they have indicators moving averages all this complex stuff um it's very very important to at least learn the basics simply because once you understand how um how ta works it really is based off of human psychology now i'm i, I don't want to go too far off of 
the topic, but just understand that markets at its base level are where buyers and sellers come together to trade. That's it. That's why you see supermarket, all these different markets. That's buyers and sellers are just coming together. Farmers market, car market, like that people are just coming together to buy and sell, right? So crypto market, trading, any market, people are coming together to buy and sell. Okay, now that we have that clear, you want to make sure that you understand when a good time to buy is and when a good time to sell is, right? Like the old saying goes, buy low and sell high. Now, it's very difficult to do that. What And most people, what I've learned from learning uh, TA and learning technical analysis is that most people tend to do the opposite of what they should do in order to make money. So what is that? Most people, when they see the price going up, they want to buy. When they see green, they want to go. They want to buy. Right. But when they see red, they don't want to make a move. They don't want to buy anything when the price is going down or when the price is low. That's human psychology. And that's one thing that I and most all traders that are human, you know, there, there are some, you know, bot traders out there. But human traders, we deal with something called uh, emotion and the fear and greed emotion are two of the biggest drivers of our decision making including investing right so that's why people like to buy when the price is going up because they think that they're just going to ride the wave right but whole time by the time they got the news that the price was going up now it's time for the price to start going down because the people who they call it the smart money the people who understand how these market cycles work and understand how human psychology works those are the ones that are selling when the common folk are buying right when the price is high when the price is going up people who bought low they're selling to those who are starting to get excited because they see the numbers going up right but that takes experience and, and that takes time to be able to master those emotions and that's why i'm here to make you aware of the fact that these emotions are taking place and that you need to be aware of them within yourself so you can be able to hijack your emotions and make money right and not let your emotions control you once you understand how your mind is working you can stop to think and say hey let me sit back and breathe for a second these are my emotions kicking in this is my primal instinct kicking in this is not a smart move right and more times than none you should wait if it's a good investment and you've done your research, like I said before, and you're not following people blindly and you've read the white paper and you're educating yourself on the investment that you are interested in, then at that point, you should be waiting for the price to go as low as possible. Right. Because you want to get the best entry. Right. Buy low, sell high. And now the other key is, hey, that greed kicks in and let's say you did buy low. Ah, you're not out the woods yet. No, no, no. Now you have to overcome this very, very strong emotion. And it's called greed. Oh, greed, greed, greed. We know how greed controls people and makes people do crazy stuff. Yeah. It's going to make you do crazy stuff with your investments, too. You're going to probably think, oh, I'm immune to that. You know, but when you put in... <laughs> When you put in a thousand bucks and months later it turns into five thousand or ten thousand and all you had to do was wait you know if if you're not educated on what you should be what price you should be selling at because of understanding technical analysis support lines and resistant lines of the chart there there's a there's a formula to this stuff you all and i'm breaking it down it's up to you to put the pieces together this is just a small segment of the puzzle but this is these are very important points that is in, is key to understand and being successful because this 2024 2025 bull market you all it's about i would say it's about 40 percent over with if you're looking to make money in cryptocurrency as a whole you should be looking to get in fairly soon i'm not giving you any advice but not too long at the beginning of the year bitcoin was 
maybe half this price that it is now. It's like at 60 some thousand. It was about like 30 some thousand at the beginning of this year. You could have doubled your money if you would have bought Bitcoin earlier. That train has that train has rolled off into the sunset. That ship has sailed. But there are other opportunities in the cryptocurrency market. And if you're interested in learning more, like I say, visit WTFMA.com. Go ahead and send us a message on that contact tab. And I'll see what I can do to help you out. Maybe set up a free consultation call with you just to see what you're looking to uh, learn about crypto. And we can kind of continue that conversation further into the future. But this talk right here is for me to just give you all some quick game. And um, yeah, and, and to really be able to make some life changing profits, you all, because I, I know y'all see this inflation. I know y'all feeling it, you know, and. We all know how much our wages have gone up over the past year, five years, 10 years. We don't really get much of a wage if you're working at nine to five or nine to seven job, you know, so you have to invest. You have to take on a risk. And if you think that investing is too risky, imagine not taking on any risk of investing. Imagine letting your money sit under your mattress or sit in the bank account. How risky is that to your wealth? How risky is that to your future? I'm not saying you have to invest in cryptocurrency. I'm just giving you an option. I'm just educating you. And I'm, I'm looking through my notes here as well just to find another point for you all. But I want to kind of just shed some light on the fact that you all need to understand just simple concepts. If you don't already understand these concepts about investing. It's pivotal to your survival and your comfort going into the, your latter years of working, right? I always use this example. If, if you're making $40,000 a year, let's say average, and you retire at 65 and you plan on living to your 85, that's 20 years, 20 years at $40,000 a year. Was that eight hundred thousand dollars? So, if you want to be able to spend forty thousand dollars for twenty years in your retirement, you need eight hundred thousand dollars put to the side in cash. Now, that's not even taking into account the fact that inflation is going to eat that up at at least ten percent a year for the next twenty years. So, you're really going to need probably two or three times that amount. What am I saying, you all? You're going to need to be a millionaire if you want to enjoy the concept of retirement. It's just numbers. Do the math. I just did some quick table table napkin math for you all. You need 800K to live off of 40,000 a year for 20 years from 65 to 85. That's 800. How many of y'all have $800,000 just put to the side just waiting for you to spend it during your retirement? I'll wait. Right. It's, it's not really realistic because working these jobs, you're not going to be able to do that. Rent is increasing. Taxes are increasing. Food, energy. You know what I'm saying? Everything is increasing. You all. So what do you have to do to overcome this challenge? You have to invest. Number one investment that you can make is in yourself. And that's why you're here. That's why 11 people are here. Shout out to y'all for joining this live thank y'all for joining this live and thank y'all for watching this replay as well this is you all investing in your education and i love teaching people about this i've made the mistakes i've had the successes i've made the wins and now i have so much clarity that i can speak with you all with confidence like i'm speaking to y'all right now about these tips all right and these are just one line tips that i have written down on my phone but this stuff comes from the heart Right, this comes from experience, and I want to see y'all win. Y'all can win. It just takes time. It takes effort. Right? The Bible says uh, this is one of my favorite verses. Faith without works is dead. Faith is the activator. You all, um, excuse me. Works is the activator for your faith. Your your faith ain't gonna work for you if you ain't working. Right? So what goes around comes around. The law of reciprocity. You know karma, whatever you want to call it, you, you reap what you sow. It's all the same thing, you all. 
So, you know, put forth the effort, put in that work. And then, you know, I'm going to end off with this, you know, have the right mindset, having the right mindset. We always preach. We always teach here at the WTF Mentoring Academy about having a growth mindset, you know, learning things like and when I say learning, you don't have to be a master at it. It takes years to master, but just master the concepts of technical analysis. Start there. Every form of investing pretty much has a chart that you can refer to a price chart. And those charts have used the same indicators across the board for the most part. If you can understand the basics of technical analysis, support and resistance areas, different indicators, RSIs, that's relative strength indicator, um, different things like that, uh, the, the MACD, you know, just different things like that. You'll be miles and miles ahead of the other people that are in the market because you'll be buying when they're selling and you'll be selling when the other people are buying. And that's how you actually make money. Right. So but never give up on yourself and always continue to learn. And I thank you all. I'm going to close here. Uh, if you have any other questions, like I say, always visit our website, WTFMA.com. And right after this live in the next four minutes, three or four minutes or so, we're going to be airing Storm Leroy, my personal friend, my brother, Storm Leroy, the employed millionaire. We're going to be airing his podcast on our YouTube page here at the bottom. Go ahead and type in WTF Men's Academy. And I should have put on YouTube. So this should be on, not of YouTube. But y'all get the point. All right. So go ahead and visit us. I appreciate y'all for watching. One more week. Coach E sends his love to every single one of y'all. And I do as well. Thank you. This is Coach Dimitri saying it has been another successful WTF Live Wednesday. And we always want to say WTF not only means what's the formula, but also stands for our mantra, which means winning takes focus. Until next week, stay focused and keep winning. Peace.